So many of our biggest problems have already been solved. Housing, healthcare, energy are not intractable. In fact, the technology exists to solve these problems, but those technologies have to get over regulatory barriers in order to get into people's hands. Because the law is static. It only changes when you make it change. Technology, on the other hand, is changing every day. It's dynamic. If you can take the law and help it catch up with where technology is, you can unleash some tremendous innovation that changes people's lives. And this all sounds good, right? But what does it actually look like in practice? Let me show you. We are at an Icon house. Icon is a company that can 3D print a home. The housing of the future has to be different than the housing of our past. Icon is a construction technology company born out of a frustration with what's going on in the housing industry. It's very wasteful, it's very slow. This is the house. We printed this house in eight days in the middle of like torrential rainstorms. That robotic arm 3D prints the layers one at a time. And in just 24 hours, they can put up the core structure of a house like this one. They can do it at a fraction of the cost of a traditional stick built house. So once the printer's set up, the operator pulls up sort of an app store for houses. He selects what he wants to print, and you press print. And they monitor it, but the printer really is running on autopilot. And layer upon layer, the house is built up on site from the ground up. Housing is actually the, the biggest industry in the world. It's the most expensive thing you're ever gonna own, and you have to have one as a human to survive. You need food, water, and shelter. 1.2 billion people are under sheltered in the world. With 3D printing, we have a pathway to deliver half price homes in half the time. We are not there yet, but that's the kind of order of magnitude we need as we approach solving issues like homelessness. Can we go inside? Yeah, come After on. you, Let's this do is it. your house. Look at this, how big it is. Sit out here and look at the sunset. Oh my lord, I mean, amazing. This is an honor. Thank you, brother. I can't wait for you to make this place a home. Here's the challenge that we have. There's a lot of pent up demand on like potential solutions. It's just that, hey, we've always done it this way, kind of red tape, that is very problematic for us. We have built houses the same way for literally a thousand years, sticks and bricks. It shouldn't surprise us that the regulations surrounding construction are archaic. Nothing about our housing code was built to anticipate robots squirting concrete that can put up a house in 24 hours. Everyone wants to solve this problem. Everyone's interests are aligned. So it's a question of how do we work together to make that happen? That's right. The law freezes a current way of doing things in a block of ice. You've got to melt that block of ice if you want to get these tremendous technologies into people's hands. We help them get the first permit for a 3D printed house in America and then overcome the code barriers that they needed to overcome in order to pave the way for scale. And they're building affordable houses by the hundreds this is a company that at scale can literally lower the cost of housing for billions of people. This is how I want to live my life, in partnership with people solving problems like this. I'm getting goosebumps talking about, I mean like, it makes me proud to be a human. Holy moly. For a lot of people across this country, I think this is gonna be an answer.